Hey guys, it's another another day, another episode of That's All Funny. I hope, uh, hey, how you doing? I <laughs> hope you're doing well. <laughs> no, it's another day. Uh, what did I do today? I, I played, no, I woke up early this morning because I feel like I had like nightmares. You know when like you can't like wake up from your fucking dreams. I kept snoozing my alarm, fucking snooze that shit, like for two hours, man. Finally woke up. Um, I don't even remember my nightmares. I just know they weren't pleasant. And then uh, it wasn't like the other day though when I had to piss really bad. That was just that was bad too. But maybe it's my new medication that Zoloft is giving me fucking nightmare like you know dreams and shit. But uh. Man, I woke up this morning and went to the kitchen. I was making myself breakfast. Right when I was about to get done, I fucking dropped a glass and, like, shattered it on the floor. And so, like, there's my fucking breakfast getting all cold while I'm looking for all... Half asleep, looking for all these hidden pieces of shattered glass on the floor. Because, you know, when it shatters, it goes everywhere. So, you got to get every single fucking piece that's, like, hiding under everywhere like a little scavenger hunt point and click adventure and shit it's fucking bullshit you know and i was like god damn it like <laughs> it's right when i finished eating you know and it was a clear glass too so like you couldn't really see that shit but whatever i think i got it done i hope i got it done um well we can talk about the news right i guess oh no actually earlier earlier today i was uh, streaming paper mario in the thousand year door and it was fun it was, it was a lot of fun, but man, dude, I streamed for five hours, five fucking hours, and I had like three people watch me the whole time, <laughs> so thank you to uh, everyone who was watching me stream for fucking three, or no, five hours, like, that's that's a long time to me, to, for me to fucking stream, like, like think the last, the other day I had a two hour long podcast that was streaming for five hours, Jesus Christ, dude. This is going, this is, I'm losing my mind, but thank you all, and I appreciate the donations and shit, I'm, I'm gonna for sure buy Resident Evil 4, uh, the remake or whatever, to play on the channel, and, uh, uh, and also, uh, and, uh, but everyone, thanks for, um, the support, I appreciate it, and everyone who's, um, you know, listening to the podcast and all that, uh, the news apparently uh the flash movie is getting rave reviews but everybody's hating on ezra miller because you know he's just a complete piece of shit and and they kept giving him chances and i mean he, i guess he's good in the movie but everybody hates him because he's just like not a good person but it's like hey he made a good movie what, what, what can you say you know like the flash is a good character the flash has a good uh i mean his his rogues gallery isn't as good as batman's uh, but he's got some good villains. <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck? Why am I so tired? And he he could always borrow from Batman's villains too, because you know it's in the same universe. Speaking of uh real life villains like Ezra Miller, which I assume uh, there's a spoiler alert. I don't even know how it goes, but I assume one of the flashes because there's two of him in the movie, so I assume one of them is the bad guy, like secretly. You know what I mean? Like, well, obviously, because he changed the past, but, like, li legit a bad guy, like, fucking Eobarthon or whatever, but... Speaking of real-life bad guys, uh, Bam Margera has turned himself in after days on the run for, I guess, like, pu punching his brother or something? And I don't get it, because wouldn't he do that all the time? Like, that's just a casual thing in the Margera household. They just punch each other and tackle each other and drop kick and... Well, you know, the dad will be on the toilet butt naked, but you can't see anything. And Bam Margera will just uh, break in there and start fucking punching him, you know, like a fist of fury and shit. But whatever, I guess it's 2023. I guess no one likes that shit anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's something they can't do. So Bam Margera has turned himself in. He's uh really 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 fucking up his life, man. And uh I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say cuz I just I literally just watched like a documentary about him and how he was like happy turning his life back around and losing weight and skateboarding and stuff and here he is doing all this crazy shit like whatever, man. 
I wish I had your problems with money and stuff instead of my anxiety, but whatever. Um, what else am I looking at here? Uh, oh my god, dude. I'm sorry for all the yawning. <laughs> dude, I don't know. It was that long ass stream, I guess. I'm seeing here a Japanese man spent $15,000. To make a custom furry suit to have him look like a, a border collie. And I mean, it looks good. He looks like a, a fucking border collie. But he's in a fucking suit. Like a, a dog suit. Like, he looks like he's deep undercover. Like, Ace Ventura when he was in that fucking rhinoceros mach <laughs> mech machine in the jungle and shit. You know, trying to save the, the bat or whatever. So, like. I don't know. I mean, 15,000 bucks, I guess that's a deal to turn into a border collie, but it looks like it, uh, very claustrophobic, you know? It just looks like a badass costume uh, where he could be on all fours and shit, but uh, again, I I don't know. It looks very claustrophobic, and I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I guess if you had, like, the person there, like, your partner to play with you, that would make sense, but if you were just pretending to be a dog for the sake of being a dog, uh, I don't think that's that's good, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think you need like other parties to uh, uh, to uh, consent to that kind of foreplay. But what do I know? I'm not into furries and all that shit. I really, I'm not. I'm a simple man. Just give me a girl with a, a nice set of feet, and um, I'm happy. Speaking of a woman with a nice set of feet. Uh, I'm guessing, I don't know, I've never seen Rihanna's feet, but she's announcing that she's playing Smurfette in the new Smurf movies, and I'm, and I'm like, what? Like, why? <laughs> like, I, I don't know, I, I just don't, like, you could just hire, like, a regular actress or something to do Smurfette. I mean, maybe if she did the singing voice and someone else did the, the regular voice, but I don't think... Smurfette supposed to sound like Rihanna. I don't know. I, I feel like I've seen enough sm of the Smurfs show to to know what Smurfette sounds like, and I don't think she sounds like Rihanna. I know Rihanna was in that one movie. Oh, that you know that Alien movie with the guy from The Big Bang Theory, and uh, that wasn't bad. That was a cute movie. So I'm not like going against anything of her voice, and I love her voice. I love her um when they really let let her go loose. You know her voice. Her fucking um, what was it? The Super Bowl shit wasn't wasn't even that good though. That shit wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> it was just boring, you know. Uh, it was just like a, a a fucking test for the Illuminati or something with all that red and all that other bullshit. But uh, <laughs> all those all those uh, her smelling her crotch and then holding all these like triangles and spades and shit. You know what it is. They're turning the frog gay. Nah, but I don't know. Like, I never really considered the Smurfs to sound black, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, I guess they could sound multiracial. But um, they do have, like, evil Smurfs that are black. You know? <laughs> so you can maybe have them voiced by those. I don't know. They do have evil Smurfs, though, I think, that are, like, uh, fucking compromised by Gargamel or whatever you want to say. I don't know. And then Gargamel just wants to eat them. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to eat a Smurf. They don't look tasty. They just look like little blue people, you know? Like, that doesn't sound good. I'm in a blue house with a blue window. Blue is the color. I walk in a hay. I have the things in all the things are blue. I have a girlfriend, and she is so blue. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da, da ba dee da ba da, da ba dee da ba die, 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 die. Lastly, speaking of dying, <laughs> um, Jerry Springer, he's passed away, man. Uh, that's crazy, right? Like, how old was he? Seventy nine. I can't fucking move my mouth to see. How old he was when he died. Yeah, he died at 79. I don't know how healthy he was or, you know, whatever. But I'm more of a Maury guy. 
like honestly, like Jerry Springer's okay and all that. I always thought it was like too um, risque for me. You know, I never liked watching that. I always like I always watched cartoons as at, as a kid that age. But uh, I'm more of a Maury guy because I love the the shit. Um, you are not the father, and then the guys are doing dances and backflips and shit, and the women are running towards the back and. The man will still just be like, nah, girl, but I'll take care of you. I don't care if I'm not the father. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. It is just the funniest shit in the world to me. So, um, yeah, Jerry Springer, I'm sorry. You know, rest in peace. Uh, I'm sure um, you, 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 had, you, you did what you needed to do for this planet. You really did. And, uh, yeah, you'll do what you need to do in the afterlife now. <laughs> for uh heaven or whatever uh or hell i don't know if you believe in all that shit i don't know wherever he's going to he's probably going to purgatory he needs to he needs to wash some of the sins off of uh what he has unless he repented right before death because then if you do that then you're fine if you right before you die if you're like please forgive me for all my sins jesus is like all right i forgive you like that it's that simple that's all you need to do that's it's it's literally that simple that's you you can do that i'm pretty sure the bible like says that like you can sin you could sin you could sin it's bad you could sin it's bad oh but you repent your sins okay you're going to heaven you know but yeah that's uh it for today i want to thank you all for uh tuning in to uh the show <laughs> it's gonna keep doing this everyday thing hopefully like i said more interviews uh more gameplay well i'm just playing paper mario the thousand year door come watch it's fun because i just play the game and you watch me it's fun and um <coughs> if you really want to look at any of the merchandise check out www.retrohorinc.com for all the merchandise needs if you want to uh, support me check out the patreon patreon patreon.com slash lorenzo Ariola. Uh, we put out extra, you know, stuff on there. And uh, if you want to look at some bonus video content, check out the YouTube, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola, where, um, yeah, it's we're, ha we're all having fun trying to I'm trying to make the world a little bit more uh, less serious. But, yeah, thank you all for uh, tuning in. I appreciate all you all support and uh, take care. Have a, have a great uh, weekend. Yeah, it's going to be the weekend. Have a great weekend. Bye.